All right, guys, what's going on? So today we have a couple things to do. First, as you can see, I got a set. A set altar done. I got a Durkito one done. And I got a Ymir one done. So... We have to go out and look for a Ymir priest. Um, that'll be the second thing we have to do. First thing we have to do is go get this Nordheimer Berserker a couple levels. So here we go. Scorpion the Invincible. Nice. And if I'm correct, yep, it should gain a strength stat every single time it levels up. Anyways. I'm going to go around and kill some stuff for a bit until I get him to at least level 7 or 8. And I will bring you back once that happens. Alright guys, we're back. Um, did a quick little run through the unnamed city and got the Berserker up to level 8. So, it's time to leave him there and head up to go get... A Ymir priest from New Asgarath. So, I will meet you guys when I'm there. And we're back. In the early hours of the morning, 5.17 a.m. All right, here we are. Let's do this. Don't you yarg at me. This guy ran away. Hmm. Poof. Goodbye. Well. Nah. I don't need to harvest them anymore. I have enough arrows. Gara, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here, Ladagara. You're supposed to be over there. Yeah, I know. You're not even supposed to be over here. I guess I'll take another horn. <coughs> Hi, wolf. Hi, wolf. Yarg to you too. Ah. 
John the Tinkerer is done. Alright. Oh, oh, and they're dead too. So looks like most of the stuff from over here came after me already. Doesn't look like, yep, looks like everything's dead right there. Alright. Um, next part. Gotta run into here. And nothing's over there. Okay. So let's head on over to here. Uh huh. I am your priest. So no. And you're a cook. Give me your priest. Nordheimer archer. So nope. All right. Uh, okay. Nobody's in here. That must have been where the cook came from. So let's see. Um, nope. You're a Nordheimer fighter. Anything in here? No. All right. How about this way? Question mark. Chieftain Aslog. <laughs> All right, Chief Aslog. Looks like you dropped me a heart of a Nordheimer. Don't even know what that was. Nordheimer fighter. All right. So so far, no luck. Of finding an Asgard named a priest. Archer, Taskmaster, Fighter. Okay. Oh, that one's dead. Mm. This way, I guess. Two alchemists. You're dead. And I'm assuming fighter? Nope, archer. You were very armored for being an archer. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, here's some more. A fighter and a dude running away. Archer, of course. It's an archer. Poke me. Hmm. What's in here? Nothing. Nice. Okay. So we have a fighter and a carpenter. Oh, no. Oh, carpenter's dead. Nothing in there. Another fighter. Fighter, a performer, nope. I'm assuming that is another heart of a Nordheimer. High Priest, the Manos the Handful, still no named priest. Okay. 
What are you? Another Nordheimer Berserker, huh? Oh. I don't think I need another one right now. Tanner. Armorer. Cook. So we'll just kill him, I guess. Ooh, there's a lot of them now. Alright, rip goat. Hmm. Some more stuff in there. What is up here that... Interesting. And I'm assuming everything in here is dead. Yep. All right. Let's continue in our circle. Oh, there's a person. Najorer Battleborn. Uh, Nordheimer Armorer. Okay. I probably should have tamed that one up, but... Nope. I am on a mission here. Alright. Where is the door to this place? Aha! Back at the beginning. All right, well, that is, unfortunately, the end of the excursion here. We'll have to come back later and try again. For now, we have to head home, grab our fighter thrall, and there's another dungeon that we're needing to be done. So... I'll meet you there in just a minute. All right, so here we are in the wine cellar. Now, this dungeon is really confusing. Um, this is the guy that you get the Seth Truncheon, which is actually legendary, and it's the best one that you can get in the game. Unfortunately, ooh, looks like somebody might have been here recently. Hmm, maybe not. But I am on a hunt. A very specific hunt, actually. Now, I won't do everything in this dungeon. I'll skip past the unnecessary parts. But, I will show you guys all the boss fights. So, I'll bring you back once I get to the first boss-ish. Alright, we're coming up to boss number one. So here we go. Now, these guys don't have a lot of health, but boy do they hit hard. Um, like I said, they're fairly easy. Once you kill that first boss, you cross this bridge here. And then just follow the road. So, I'll bring you back once we get to the second boss. Alright, here comes the second boss. 
And like I said, they're not that hard. They just hit really hard, as you can see. And that's why they're dangerous. So, I will bring you back when we get near the third boss. And ta-da, we're near the third boss already. Which is actually supposed to be one of those skeleton guys, but there's a rare spawn chance, actually, where you get this Anubis-looking freak. And he is the one that allows you to get, there we go, Essence of the Serpent Ring. Now, that is a key item. If you read it, where does it say? This essence taken from the Servant of the Ring hopefully contains enough of the dark sorcery to complete the ritual to create the keystone that can be used to remove the slave bracelet. So, there you have it. That is an item that you need to be able to remove the bracelet. So, let's just go ahead and continue here. And what's gonna happen is you come to this bridge. Now, most people venture off a little bit. There's a bunch of chests throughout this whole dungeon. Um, if you go down this path and follow it, there's an area that has like six chests. And then if you come up this way, Now there's a split right here as you can see. That way leads to a like a scorpion slash spider queen thing that you can kill. But this is the way we want to go to get to the end main boss. So like I said, you just follow the path and that temple up there is where he is. So, let's just go ahead and make our way there. Now, uh, this boss <clears throat> is very tricky and can do a lot of damage. You have to be very careful about it. Um, so what you do is you light all six of these and the boss will spawn. Now, like I said, he can do a crazy amount of damage not with his normal swings but it's with his little area of effect stuff he does in just a minute now I always like to stay topped off yep here we go this right here if you get hit by these consecutively, it will do a lot of damage to you. So, you have to make sure to avoid that as much as possible. Now, I did this dungeon 10 times yesterday, and I still haven't gotten the item I'm looking for. So, I'm hoping...
that I'll be able to get it soon. Oh boy. Alright, so now what happens is he summons a bunch of skeletons also. So, it's not easy, like I said. Uh, doable, but not easy. Fortunately, I've had some time to figure it out. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, crap. All right. He's over here, so let's just go ahead and finish him off, and all the skeletons will go away. And yet again, I did not get what I was looking for. So, we're going to go ahead and head back home, and hopefully the next time we can run there and do that, We'll be able to get it. Otherwise, the grind will continue. Alright, guys. Um, I think that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you liked what you saw. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I do have a Twitter now. I also do stream still Monday through Friday starting at 7 30 p.m. CST don't forget to come on over there and watch the stream it's twitch.tv slash Peter Crick I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next video bye